Hey there, I'm Casey and welcome to my garden in Tampa Zone 10A. Today is February 1st, 2025 and last week we had a freeze down to 33 degrees in the garden. So in this video I'm going to take you around and show you some of the cold damage that we experienced. Check it out. So in our front yard, this is the south. So in the front we have the house protecting it so we didn't have um, much damage in the front. And you can see all of our mangoes are blooming but that's not what this video is about we're just going to walk through and look at some of the damage uh, this papaya got hit really bad with the cold but i think it also had some virus um because all of the new um growth was just necrotic and it just does not look good um, our sky vine got a pretty big hit it was worse last year though Let's go to the backyard. There was not much damage in the front because the house is to the north of it, so the house blocks a lot of the wind. But in the back, there was some damage. This is our fire bush, and it gives shade to our jabotacaba, and it like completely defoliated. All the leaves are down there. Fruit punch looks fine. There's lobster claw heliconia. It did not like the cold at all. And then here we have our noni, and it is just dropping everything. It dropped all of its leaves. It looked fine like the day after, maybe two days after, and then three days after, it dropped all of its leaves, and now I see it's dropping its fruit. So we'll prune that. It's too big anyway. We have a lion's tail hibiscus, not happy. Um, our pineapple is flowering, and it got hit pretty bad. This is Nairanghia, and I had frost on the leaves, and but it's still alive, but it did not like it at all. And then our cocoa po bananas, we're removing them. We're going to put something here in this island, it's a surprise coming up. Um, M4 did fine. This down here, though, did not. This is Panama Queen, one of my flowers. It's a rare tropical flower. I didn't know I was supposed to protect that, but it's okay. Some of the orchids got some damage. I put these orchids inside, but he doesn't. He lost all of his leaves, but they are okay. This is a cha cha. A cha-cha is extremely tropical and it was fine. This is China. There's a little bit of cold damage. And we think, because behind me is the north, that the wind just came through here and um, did some damage. That's because we have a powder puff tree and we pruned it. It was very large, uh, but we pruned it a lot because it had sooty mold and white fly. So we wanted to get rid of it. But everything back here looks fine. The plant that Pepper's at, this is Monkey Jack. So another super tropical and it looks fine. On the bananas and the heliconia, they don't, they don't like the cold at all. Uh, ice cream bean, he looks okay. He doesn't have much damage. But that plant there, this is tropical lilac and it got a pretty big hit. All the avocados look fine. The Jamaican cherry looks fine. Oh, there's a mame in here. He does not look good. Let me see, I'll go around. But this is a sapodilla, Silas wood, loaded with fruit, incredible. Looks fine. But back behind the water fountain is a mame. I'm not sure which one they are. There's Larico and I think, I don't even remember. There's two of them. But he didn't look good. But you'll see in the front we have one that looks fine. Um, back here. So the water fountain in the, or the bird bath in the front froze. 
and this one never froze um, because of the this is the now the north so we have this huge oak tree um, blocking the winds this is Aki it looks fine and then underneath the papaya is a cacao which is just now showing damage from the cold but hey that's pretty good it got down to between 34 and 36 and it's doing okay more mangoes flowering over here it's really sad uh, this is our coffee and it see it's dropping its leaves on the floor and then this uh, so sad this is um, chenille and I killed it already once brought it back and I guess I just forget about it in the winter so he does not look good our star fruit does not like the sun but it has one fruit still on it yeah the garden looks pretty okay we're ready to start pruning all those look fine that's avocado this is the custard apple it did not like the cold oh that looks broken he's got fruit on him Guava does not like the sun. So this is where the north winds come. And everything over here looks pretty okay. This is a um, Ippolito Caimito. And look, it's only like two feet tall. And we didn't protect it at all. And that's straight from the north winds. And he looks fine. We have another, the Lara Purple. And he completely defoliated. He's been inside. Uh, this is Cecropia. You can see that we have the um, we got two thermometers in here, just to make sure we knew how cold it got. This is a switch bot. We got it on Amazon. It's like waterproof and it keeps the data on here for a few months, and then you can put it on your phone. And then we have two more, just so we knew. But this Cecropia got down to between 34 and 36. That's the error margin of error we have, and it looks. Fine. We are currently remulching. Jackfruit looks fine. This custard apple looks okay. Sapodilla still holding all of its fruit. Out there is a mountain soursop, but he's defoliating and regrowing. Go check out the other side so we are pruning here we had all the bougain bougain villa were much larger um, to act as a windbreak and it sure did its job this is Gefner Atamoya this is Lula she has a little bit of cold damage avocado um, Sugar apple looks, he just has the um, little pest on it that was on the lima beans, but we're going to treat it. We're going to defoliate it, and then the leaves will come back just fine. Uh, this is a trompo canistel, looks fine. Another avocado, just minor, minor damage. Um, another mango, and then this is... The other mame. It's flowering <laughs> at like a two feet and it wasn't protected except like the bougainvillea were a little bit larger but he looks fine absolutely fine. Yeah everything looks fine. Oh I don't know how I forgot to show you this is um this is Miami soursop. Here's our nom doc mai. So yeah, that's the side, but there's one thing I forgot, one of the most important in the front. So it's February, and this is a soursop tree, and it got down to 38 in the front, I think we recorded, 
and our soursop is still loaded in its leaves. It's still flowering. I think there's a flower, yep, right here. And then inside the canopy is the fruit, and it's still holding its fruit. So whenever we got really cold, Ariel put like a fire back there, and then we had another fire out here. So in the front, the soursop stayed at about 42, I think. But yeah, uh, he looks really good. Anyway, so that's our garden walkthrough after the freeze of 2025. Hopefully the cold is gone. We're ready to prune and see what the spring has to offer for the garden. Hope that you enjoyed the little micro tour. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.